Hello and welcome back everyone to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I am Stack Crooked, resuming in Zaz in town. And we have to get across this bridge, but this guy's a jerk. Hey, stop right there! If you want to get by here, hand over the treasure you have. Well, come on, what is it gonna be? I have no treasure. What? You poverty stricken good for nothing? And so, yeah, this guy's a jerk. He's not gonna let us cross this bridge. So we have to go through a series of fetch quests in order to actually get by. What? What do you want? Do you know Benkei? Of course I do. He's like a follower to me. Wait a sec. I bet you're trying to get across the Gojo Ahashi Bridge that Benkei's blocking. Am I right? Oh, well, yes. Well, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Just do me a favor and I'll tell you how to deal with Benkei. Well, what do you say? Will you do me? Yeah, we'll do your favor. Then it's decided. Okay, so yeah, we have to... Uh, three blue fish. What happens now is these fish spawn in these areas and somehow are able to survive in this completely shallow water. Anyway, we have to, you know, catch fish. Oh, I got a blue fish, I'm gonna have to catch three. Yeah, you know what, screw this! One fish, two fish, red fish, screw this. I'm gonna edit because I don't want you to have to sit through this fetch quest. There's like three. I had to get like three blue fish, then five yellow fish, then seven red fish, so... I'll cut back to here once I'm done. Alright, I just caught the last fish. It was actually eight red fish, so it's annoying. Alright, you did it! <laughs> With all this fish, I won't go hungry for some time. Well, as I promised. Yeah, we get a freaking log. Throw this at Benke, I'm sure he'll move such. <laughs> go on, and allies receive the Achilles heel. <laughs> okay. So now that we have this item, we can, uh, make this guy do our bidding and just move. But not without a funny minigame. Hey, you over there! If you want to cross this bridge... Ugh! What? I can see it in your eyes. You ought to fight! Very well, however, if you lose... I will blast you far, far away! Well, well, it's a fight with Benkei. Look for the instant Benkei reaches the ground when jumping and throw the Achilles heel at him three times within the time limit. The item can be thrown by pressing the B button. Okay. So, this is like the... Okay. Yeah, let me get him, okay. There we go. If you actually just mash the button as soon as he starts jumping, you'll pretty much get him. Unless he, like, swipes at it like that. Damn you, Benkei! Damn my timing. <laughs> Hopefully I get this. Okay. I am like, failing at this. Okay, there we go, finally. <laughs> Ever since the Achilles heel was thrown at Benkei, Achilles heel was meant to be the weak point of someone. There's something fishy about that story. <laughs> Ah, uh, to be defeated in the same manner as I was by Ushigaka. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone that I lost, please. I'll let you pass the bridge at will, and I'll give you something from my collection. <laughs> Thanks for giving us our friend. Wow, wow, it's a friend Sasuke. What Benke pulled out was... All stiff, with batteries almost falling out. It was none other than... It was none other than the mechanical ninja Sasuke. Where did you get this? <laughs> so basically, uh, Benkei s happened to find Sasuke that came flying from the air that probably happened because of the explosion at the old band house. <laughs> Yay, we, we heard that jingle a couple times this episode already. Hey, now I can pass because this guy was defeated by us. So we have Sasuke, but as you saw there, he's not, like, alive? <laughs> We have to get batteries for him in order for us to be able to use him later. So where am I going? I think I'm going... Right now I'm going to these woods over here. Because there is this, I guess, switch system in here that activates some things. This is actually a pretty serene melody. I like it a lot. And here it is, this shrine with this rock in it. I forget which direction corresponds to what, so... Okay, we don't want to go here yet. 
Hey, what is this? Oh, okay. So, let's, uh, push it this way first. Alright, now this shrine is unlocked because of the rock that we moved it. Unlock this door somehow magically. We don't, we don't question these things. So now, we can actually climb this place. It actually features the cool chill melody that was on the road to Oedo Castle, which is nice. I like this melody a lot. The only bad thing is this is just basically climbing and it's boring and slow. Hopefully I don't fall. Because that would waste time. Ladder humping! Because that's the fastest way to travel. And... Over here to the right is... A fortune doll. Yay, with three more. Just three more. And I'm actually looking for... Where's that ledge? There it is. You gotta fall down this ledge and get another fortune doll. <laughs> I like that there's two in this building. And now we can leave. So, because I was going for 100%, as I've mentioned, I wanted to get those fortune dolls, and I wanted to do them now, because, well, it just happened to be on our way. But now I have to go back into these woods, and activate some more of the, I guess, rocks functions. And here is the shrine yet again. One of the directions, the one, I guess, facing us right now, will teleport me somewhere else so I can advance the story. And then another one will actually summon a fortune doll. Yay. A lucky cat will fall into our lap. How about that? It'll fall from above. There it is! Three fortune dolls already in this episode. And I don't think... I don't, yeah, I can't move it, so I actually have to leave and come back. I'll edit. Alright, I'm back. Now I can... This, if you see right here, it says, Money makes the world go round. It will eventually come to you as well. If you push the rock towards this end, uh, tons of Ryu will sprinkle down from the heavens. And no, jump over. I don't want to do that because, well, it's unnecessary. I don't need any more money. And here is this. Let's take this again. I like that teleporting sound. Just need to move the camera to figure out where I'm going. I like how it looks like it looks like it's facing off into infinity, but there's actually this I guess rock formation here. The sky is a very nice shade of orange, though I like it a lot. You're right, the husband and wife rocks. And a funny thing to mention, or an interesting thing to mention, is the frame rate here is absolutely terrible. Like it's like traveling in slow motion. Hey, it picked up again. But no, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. But I had to come here for, and get you guessed it, another fortune doll. No, don't hit me. Okay, good. And just like that, my strength gauge increased yet again. And now this will take us back to here, the one that I just took right now, which is nice. I like that it brings you back. There's no music here, but it actually is a, I guess, a nice combination of ambient sounds. Like, you hear the waves, like the seagulls, all that. And the frame rate is also terrible here. It's just awful. I don't know what it's causing it. Maybe it's the water? I would assume it's the water, because it's the only correlation I can find. But we have to approach here. I guess we'll face a mini-boss. You'll see. The, the theme here is actually pretty nice, too. It's, this is Edo Tour Center, Awaji Island Branch. We'll carry you to Shikoku at once with our proud dragon. Is what we really wanted to say. Our proud dragon has suddenly gone wild and cannot carry you now. I will help, yeah. So basically, they use a dragon as, I guess, a fairy. <laughs> like, it's type of a transit service, I guess. But their dragon was taken over and they can't use it at the moment. But we're gonna help them out and figure out what the hell's going on. Oh yeah. Very rigid dragon. 
But what are you gonna do? N64 graphics. <laughs> they couldn't really render something smooth and round. So now we're on top of the dragon. If you fall off, I mean, you can fall off, which sucks. So you don't want to do that. And all the while, these enemies will spawn in and try to attack me. And yes, they can, like, hit me off, which is pretty awful. So I do not want to be hit off. And, like, the dragon sways from side to side. And if I jump or get hit, it can actually knock me off, and it's pretty awful. What is... what? Do you suppose that machine? Aha! Ah! Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> well now. Ta-da! You're absolutely right. We kidnapped the kids with dancing talents using this dragon. I, the mighty Colon, am so, so smart. Might you be one of the Peach Mountain guys? My, 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 my. How do you know about us? Ooh! <laughs> His dialogue is super flamboyant. I get it, you must be Annoying Clowns Baron was talking about. Annoying Clowns? What? It's a lot of laugh track here. Anyway, I'm gonna beat you all up. <laughs> Control machine, go get him! See, I have to, uh, kill this guy. <laughs> and he, like, rotates and spews out a bunch of projectiles. I just have to, I wonder if I can, like, no, I can't hit him with the view, and I actually missed there, so it's gonna be one cycle longer. And, uh, actually, interestingly enough, if I get hit, like, Gomon glitches out, like, a ton, and that causes him to jump around, and I can actually just fall off due to that. And it seems to happen every time, so I don't know how to stop the glitch from happening, so hopefully I can just not get a hit. Because if I get hit, I'll likely fall off, and they'll just wait a ton of time. So I'm gonna watch out for these projectiles. I don't know how many times I have to hit this guy. But he's going to spin wilder and wilder each time. And spew out more and more projectiles. But it's a pretty simple battle, like, other than that. It's it's easy, so... As long as you don't get hit. Which can be easier said than done. I like it because the dragon's actually rotating throughout the battle and switching camera angles. So it's a, I think it's a nice, nice, very fluid battle. And, come on, stop spinning so I can kill you. And that's it. And he blows up like 20 billion times. There we go. And then we just fell off there because he decided to do an aileron roll, or whatever it's called. And now Gomon and his friends are plummeting towards the earth. No, not actually. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, no falling damage, remember? <laughs> Except for this guy. <laughs> He's like, what? Um, what? Just face plant into the brick or whatever this is. Concrete. <laughs> He's fine. And he has no eyes. What's going on? Was that you, the dragon? Yes, it was me. My name is Koyata. Or Koyuda. What, what's been going on all this time? Yes, Dragon, who had been hypnotized by the Peach Mountain, was actually none other than Koryuta, the son of Dragon God. Goemon and allies explain everything to Koryuta. Oh no! <laughs> so yes, uh, he was brainwashed by the Peach Mountain dudes, and apparently lost his memory because of that also. Oh, and he feels bad. Oh, calm down, dude. You're okay. You're Dragon. You're awesome. <laughs> also, apparently he also helped kidnap these children. Oh, and you'll probably wonder, why do the Peach Mountain people want to kidnap children with dancing talents? Because they... that was specified. <laughs> they made the distinction that they kidnapped them because they had dancing talents. Oh, we'll clear that up later. So we have to go to the Dojo Hot Springs. Or the Dogo Hot Springs. Now we're gonna go rescue the children. Oh, and he's gonna give us an item that will allow us to contact him. It's a flute. Actually, he gives it to Yai because she gets it. 
See, so he says at any time or place, except for like inside of uh, castles and things like that, we can use it to call him, and he's our fast travel. He'll take us to any town, village, or coffee shop, or castle that we've been to. <laughs> I like how they just don't care about Abysmar. <laughs> well, he's like, I can play the flute, give it to me. He's like, no, give it to Yai. Oh, cool. So yeah, he's specifying here that we can't uh, call him while he's we're inside a building. Now he's gonna leave. And he's gonna transform off-screen. <laughs> and actually gonna... You know what, actually, that's a, that's a good long video because of all the cutscenes and dialogue and the like. So I'll resume the next episode here at this point. For now, I am Stacktrigger, and this is me signing off. See you all next time.